Hello and welcome back guys. So guys, it's me Shishwe, your host. Today I will teach you how to make a cool rank card with canvas from scratch. You don't even have an XP system yet? Go check out this video right now for making an advanced XP system with lot and lot of amazing stuff. Not just you will get XP but level reward and lot more things. You can make your dream bot right now. So go and check it out. So guys, we are going to start it via installing our canvas module. Oh, so you don't know what canvas is. Canvas is an amazing package. It is really useful for making beautiful beautiful images and it is really easy to use and don't worry I also have a cool tutorial on this and you can go check it out for understanding the basics but don't worry I have got you I will tell you how to do it right now in this video quite a lot of promotions today but leave that let's get into the video right now and start the thing so guys th this will be our rank card our rank card will be kind of like this and don't worry guys you can change the colors you can change the text and you can change everything just bear with me so first of all I will go in our source and then the commands then the general then this rank.js so now we need our create canvas function and then the load image so guys as you can see we have our data already now we also need one more thing this time we need the rank like the rank of our user so we are gonna do a cool thing so first of all i will do const data is equals to await user and here we will do guild all right we are gonna do this and now we will do one more thing we will have a data thing and then we will have a rank thing all right so now what we are gonna do is we'll do datas dot for each value is equals to this and then we are gonna do if value dot id is equals to the user id let me do it user dot id then the data thing will be equals to v and the rank thing and by the way by the way let's make it v comma i so that we get the index as well and then the rank is equals to i plus one by the way we have to put all of this inside this bracket and let's make it data as well so guys now we have our data we have our rank we have to start making the canvas real quick so i will start by creating our canvas so we will do canvas is equals to create canvas so i already made one so i already know what sizes i'm going to use i will use 1000 comma 300 this will be the size of our thing and then we have to get the context of this canvas it will be const ctx is equals to canvas dot get context and it will be a 2d context and then we have another yeah, one boy. it is called bar width like what will the width of our bar that xp bar if you remember the progress bar to be precise and now i will start by loading few images like we need a, a background image right so let me just copy paste something and i will tell you what i just copy pasted so i did bg it is like the background is equals to await load image and this is a url a direct url to a beautiful image i will say and then we have to load the avatar of the user so we will do av is equals to await load image interaction dot user dot display avatar url and then the format will be png and then one more thing dynamic will be false well it is kind of useless because i'm already providing the format and now we are done now we have to st start making our canvas or the image so i will start by adding a cool background i will do ctx dot draw image and then the location will be 0 comma 0 because i have to make it for the whole thing and first of all i have to provide the image as well my bad and then it is the width of the image let it be equals to canvas dot width image will be stretched to the size of our canvas and height will be equals to its height as well now guys we have to start by adding our avatar and let me show you the image as you can see this avatar thing have this white circular thing on its side that is because i created a circle behind our avatar so let me just do it real quick starting a path all right so we will do ctx dot begin path and then we will do few cool things so first of all we have to make a arc because it is a circle and circles are created with arcs as you all know so at first we have to provide the destination i have already made the thing so i know the destination will be 120 comma 120 and then comes the radius for now radius is 110 and then the start angle that will be zero and as for end angle we have to make a 360 degree circle so we will do 2 into math dot pi or you can just do 22 divided by 7 now our arc is created and now we have to fill it like we have to fill that circle and i will just do the fill function we'll do ctx dot line width our arc is done now i will do ctx dot line width is equals to 2 and then we will do a few more things we will do ctx dot stroke style we have to provide the color and i'm choosing white for now you can choose any color you can provide that hex code if you want and then we will do ctx dot stroke and we are done that the line is created and then we will do ctx dot close path and by the way by the way before stroking the thing let's do another thing 
we will also use ctx.fill it depends on you if you want the background to be black then use the ctx.fill if you want it to be transparent just comment it and for me i'm just gonna remove it so for removing the corners i will start by beginning the path once more and then we have to do almost the same thing we have to do well let me just copy paste this thing real quick copy it and just paste it and everything is exactly similar but this time we have to do ctx.close path and then we will do ctx.clip it is like remove everything outside this circle simple stuff and then we have to add the avatar for that i will just do ctx dot draw image and then we have to provide avatar and location will be 10 comma 10 and its radius will be 200 sorry its diameter will be 220 all right it is kind of like diameter but to be honest it is just length and breadth i hope you guys are not bad with maths emotional damn it now we have to create an xp bar and by the way we have to do everything before clipping like we have to add other things here so i will start by creating an xp bar first of all i will do ctx dot line join i have to choose its join type i will do the rounded one and then we will do ctx dot line width and i will just make it 69 because why not bro yeah, it's fine boy. i guess and then we will start by ctx dot stroke rectangle and i already have the locations so i will do 298 comma 199 and now comes its width so it will be equals to bar width if you remember i defined that variable above and height will be zero i guess zero is fine or maybe let's make it two because it will be like the shadow for our thing and then comes another thing we have to add the empty bar it is like the bar which is empty so let me just copy paste it and this time it will be 300 and this will be 200 and then the its height will be zero and we have to do one more thing ctx dot stroke style is equals to black because uh, it is to show that the thing is empty and then we have another stroke style it is kind of it is this color this bluish color so i will just it and let me just copy this and paste it up and now this time bar width won't be equal to this we have to multiply it by data dot xp divided by required xp but we never define required xp don't worry i've got you i will do it our bar thing is done we have to add some text but before that let's define our required xp how are we supposed to calculate it don't worry we already did that in our message create.2.js if i'm not wrong uh, wait a sec there it is let required xp is equals to 100 paste it so i is equals to 1 and i is less than or equals to data.label i plus plus and stuff so all of this is done now let's add some cool text real quick so i will start by adding a comment adding text so we will need various things and let me just do the courtesy of copy pasting it please i will tell you what i just did um, i'm just copy pasting it because it is it will be useless if i write all of it don't worry i will tell you what i just did so first of all we are setting the font to bold 40 pixel and the family will be sans fill style is this color all right so fills uh, this is the orange kind of color let me show you this one you can change it to anything so let me just add some comment username color and then adding the username and then we are just typing this thing instead of shishu uchiha it will be user dot username and then this is its x coordinate and y coordinate and the maximum possible size then we are typing the rank and the label of that user it will be equal to data dot rank nope it won't be equal to that it will be equal to the rank and the label is equal to data dot label and these are the positions then we are using white color text with a small size and it will type rank and level and then adding bar titles so now we have to show this thing to the user right so i will start by const a t is equals to class from our discord js module let me just get it discord.js and then we have to get it wait a second it is this message attachment class new message attachment and then we have to provide some data right so we will just do canvas dot to buffer so we are converting it to buffer form and then the name will be rank dot png and that's all we have to do now we have to do in and by the way by the way by the way let me just do a small thing i will do await interaction dot reply and then we will say calculating date because it will take quite a lot of time in creating the image and getting all the data you know so now I will do interaction dot added reply files and it will be an array of 80 and I guess that's all we have to give and by the way guys we have to make it and let not a const and now we are done and guys 
there we go we finally did it now we have to test our thing and then we are done and so let's start by testing our stuff i will do slash rank and bam and bam so let's see we are not getting any error well of course we will get this error guys because we are looping here data dot we are doing this dot for each thing instead let's do a for loop i will tell you the reason just bear with me so we have to do for loop let i is equals to zero i is less than datas dot length terminate i plus plus now let's do this and do this now we will do let v is equals to datas bracket i so we have our thing and now this is it and here we have to add this break statement and i will tell you why it is because of flow but let's do slash rank and it is calculating the data by the way guys it is totally possible that we do not have data like the user do not exist in that case let's just add a if check if no data then we will do return interaction dot reply sorry edit reply all that guys so the thing is we have to do v dot user is equals to something not v dot id that was the issue let me restart the thing and i'm really sorry for that error but now the thing will work let me just check rank once more and bam it it works please trust me it works all right guys we did got the thing you can see we have 500 of undefined xp <laughs> but anyways the rank is first level is three and the name is shishui the wannabe youtuber and i will fix this nan and th that undefined thing wait for a second we don't have to do data dot record xp instead we just have to do require xp and now the things will work let me just reload it once more and then you will be able to see that the thing is working if i do slash rank and you can see that it works and let's just do rank for another user a user known as bull and let's see if it works let's see okay that guy don't have any data but anyways you can see the thing is working we have our xp we have our everything and it also shows the percentage and you can change anything any color any text if you want i have added all those comments you need thanks a lot for watching fellas the thing is finally done and please inform me if you want to make something i will try my best to make a video on that and i will meet you later in another video with another favorite topic of yours till then go check out some other video which is appearing maybe here or maybe there but who knows man i will meet you later bye